so now we're heading over here. What was that? Oh! I forgot! We can leave the Animus! Okay, so before we head to the Castello, let's go ahead and leave the Animus. Because I want to read my email. So, we'll just get out, check our email real quick, say hi to Altair, maybe a couple times. <laughs> and then we'll head back in the Animus. Maybe talk to my crew. Good morning, Desmond! Okay. Welcome back, Desmond. Thank you very much. Let's talk to my buddies. Hi. Any news from the outside? Rebecca's patched in a phone line. The Templars are still guarding the border, and Vidic seems to be busy, too. Doing what? From the looks of things, he's using Animus data to train Abstergo operatives. The multiplayer. Meaning... Abstergo's preparing for a full-on assault. The multiplayer! And, I mean, like I said, besides Battlefront, um, Assassin's Creed multiplayer was really the only one I could really get into. And, uh, even then, I tried it out in Brotherhood when before Revelations came out, and it didn't really do anything for me. I was just kind of like, ah, eh, whatever, but that's just because I sucked at it. And then, uh, Revelations came along, and I gave it a shot again, and from then on, it was just like, there was no going back. And I played the shit out of Revelations in 3. 4, not so much. It was mostly solo Wolfpack. But, yeah. Weren't you the only assassin at Abstergo's Animus facility? How are you getting data from them? Some old passwords work, but I can't dig very far into the network. You think that they would change the passwords after they found out who you really were. But I'm not complaining because I got the truth. I'm kind of busy here. Yeah, I know. That's when you shut down. I start asking the wrong questions. Hi, Rebecca. You ever killed anyone? Hello to you, too. I dated a guy who was an electronics expert around the time the assassins first contacted me. It's an interesting way to start that answer. And? Now I'm single. Are you kidding? Of course I'm kidding. You think I would joke about someone I actually killed? Death is only funny when it isn't happening in front of you. I should know. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Huh. Okay. I'll take that as a yes. A loose yes. I noticed you didn't patch the translation software. Nah, it's still buggy. There's only the occasional glitch in the Italian, but if you hit any German or French, watch out. Okay. Thanks for that. I assume I can't talk to you again. Let's walk away for a second and come back. Focusing on this. Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to Sean. Hello. Any theories about that cipher Machiavelli handed me? That's you. I mean, I can't decode it without the key. It's a one-time pad. What's that? It's a cipher with a unique disposable key. Imagine someone used the first letter of each word in the Declaration of Independence to encipher something. Well, without the Declaration itself, you couldn't decrypt it. I could run it through the computer. There are some things even a computer can't do. Like, like love, Rebecca. Like love. Only a matter of time. Not really. Reminds me of, uh, that... PS3, or was it PS4? I think it was PS3. Um, demo? Real? For that thing called Kara, or Kara, whatever it was called. The female AI who, you know, had personal thoughts, like it was actually behaving like a human, and they tried to disassemble her, and she's like begging them to let her live. And yeah, that was sad. It's kind of what that reminds me of. But okay, I think my dogs have stopped barking. So, Sean, any lions outside the pride? Who was that girl you were dating? Kate? Ah, uh, yeah. Kate. Katie, 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 kitty cat, Kate. Charm the pants right off her, I did. Yeah, okay. yeah right. I know for a fact you didn't even get to second base. Oh, did you... Uh, what? We, what? 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 We had lunch. You had lunch with Kate? Whatever, I got work to do. <laughs> You're evil. Oh, poor Sean. I'm busy right now. Yeah, that ticked him off. <laughs> okay, let's go, uh, let's say hi to Altair. Hey, what's the matter you, Altair? <laughs> I love that so much. Hey, what's the matter you, Altair? <laughs> I can never get over that. It's so funny. Okay. Hey, what's the matter you, Altair? I love it. Okay. Desmond. I don't know where I would find the passwords to the other stuff. Um, I just spat, like, really far. Eridito. Access, make sure you stay in the loop. Guy Fox, really nice. Snowmass, Juno, 57. 
Hey guys, I can't find my MP3 player. The little black one. Let me know if you see it. I have trouble sleeping without my tunes. Rebecca. Same here. I used to not be able to sleep without having music in. But now it's either music or videos. Okay, let's go into the deleted. Oh, that's weekly schedule. I read that already. Okay. What about Rebecca? Can I get into her stuff? I can. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, did these go in order? Can I they do. Okay. Desmond, I did hear it, but there's not much we can do until we've reached our goal. I know it's awful and I hate doing this to him, but it's necessary. Thanks, though, Lucy. I had two yogurts in the mini fridges of this morning and now they're gone. I'm hungry and annoyed, so who took them? Lucy. Lucy, I'm supremely disappointed that you would make such allegations of your dedicated staff. This accusation is unjust and founded and frankly rather insulting, Sean. Thanks, Becca. Sean, you're on cleanup for the next week, Lucy. Ha ha ha! This just in Rebecca's template. <laughs> and, okay, she found it. No, Sean found it for her. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, and then this stuff she sent out. I can't find my PC player. Sean ate both of them. I know because he asked me if I wanted one. <laughs> nice. Also, why do you sign your name with, the, with threes instead of E's? That bothers me. Hey, Luce. Desmond was screaming pretty loud in his sleep yesterday. It's getting worse. I don't know if you heard it too, but I thought I'd let you know, Rebecca. Hmm. Okay, so that's her stuff. What about Sean? Can I get into his yet? I can. Ooh, snap. Okay. Can't find my MP3 player. Okay, so we already read those. La da 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 da. Rebecca's a Templar. Found it. Okay, so that's all it's just stuff I already know. What about Lucy? Oh, snap. Okay. Thanks, Becca. Okay, nothing interesting in here so far. Lot of repetitiveness. Let's say hi to Altair one more time. Hey, what's the matter, you, Altair? <laughs> I love it. Okay, now let's go back in the Animus and rescue Katarina Sforza. Baby's all ready for you. Thank you. All right. There's the bitch. Salve, cittadini di Roma. Behold a sight most splendid. Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli, has at last been brought to heel. Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia. Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? You de la boca. None speak ill of the Borgia. Okay. The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma, stay strong! You will be free, your time will come, I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Yeah, this guy has his priorities. All right. Let's go in there and maybe I'll take care of Lucrezia the bitch as well. Do not be detected. Yeah, that's not happening. I've done it before, obviously, but it's not happening this time. Okay, Ponte Sant'Angelo. Usually you can just try and cross the bridge immediately that way, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay here. And see if... Ooh. I'm going to stay outside the restricted area as long as possible. Shit. I hope nobody's looking at me. I'm just gonna stay here. Wait for this group of Pope people, Cardinal, excuse me, to come around. Speaking of Pope, Pope Francis is the best, didn't he? He's great. He just visited the US, um, Washington, DC, and New York, I think, is only the places he went. He might have gone other places, but I don't remember. And he went to visit our 9 11 memorial in New York. And, God, I, they, like, had coverage of what he was doing, and he was, like, comforting the families and stuff, and he's great. I love him. Also, I'm going the wrong way. For some reason, I thought this door was open. Well, shit. Okay. Don't you fucking dare see me. That's what I wanted entirely. Too early, guys. Nice. 
I'm gonna try not be detected, okay? I'm gonna try. But it's not gonna happen. All the way over here, buddy. No! Damn it! Okay, he's going to check out the body, I think. Nope, he's not. Okay, whatever. I wish I had my crossbow. <sighs> okay. Do I still have my throwing knives equipped? Nope, I do not. I got one left. Woo! Okay. So far, so good. That's one of the hardest parts to get through undetected, actually. But use throwing knives and you'll do just fine. That looks wrong. I wish I could see what I'm collecting. I got throwing knives back. Okay, I'll keep those equipped. I don't think there's any bad guys up here. Forget the Pope. You only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise. Ah, alive. it's Nicoletto she and the Baron de Valois. Which means neither can you. And the Cardinal guy. Il Vaticano, that tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. Alright. I like the way he says it, he's like, he just left us Roma. Like, hey, how about that? Wait, how do I do this again? Right, over here, over here, over here. Hello. Oh, it's just this guy. Okay. We'll wait for him to turn around. Gotcha. Okay, anybody else? Mm. Oh, Furge. Go over there. Oh, no, wait, I remember. I remember back there by the haystack. Let's see if it happens again. I'm not going to say it right away, but let's just see if it happens. And if it doesn't happen... I will tell you. If it does happen, I will not have to tell you. I oh, fuck! I didn't. I switched back to my hidden blades. I hit the fucking button. That's bullshit. Oh, well. I won't count that. Alright. Now that I finally have my freaking hidden blades equipped. And. Nope, it didn't happen that time. Sometimes if you sprint past this haystack, someone. a uh, guard randomly spawns. Keep getting barely detected and then whatever. Whatever! Okay. I need to get. Can I reach that from. Nope. Okay. Let's try over here then. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Yes. Well, you're a fuckwit, aren't you? Yay! Here we go. Where do I... I have to go over here, don't I? Hopefully that other guard won't see me. Onto the bar. There you go. Uh! <gasps> okay. This climb always makes me nervous. The camera angles are really weird and just... I don't like it. Ah! Uh, okay. Cesare. Lucrezia. Yeah, brother and sister, by the way. That's not how brothers and sisters are supposed to kiss. I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. Oh, that mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I'd rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello. And he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? No. Wow. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will 
never be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. So not only is he like totally going Lannister here with his sister, he's totally whoring her out to get what he wants. That's horrible! Let's read about this bitch, shall we? Raised from childhood to be a pawn in her father's schemes, Lucrezia was married three times to serve the Pope's interests. The first marriage occurred when she was only 13 to Giovanni Sforza to help further the papal relationship with Milan. But when the Pope turned against Milan, he had no further use for the marriage. Cesare threatened to have Giovanni murdered, and he fled. In order to annul the marriage, the Pope ultimately had Giovanni declared impotent. <clears throat> With that marriage deflated, the Pope was, set, was free to set up another one, this time to Alfonso of Aragon. Freaking Lord of the Rings. Cementing a partnership with Naples. Cesare hated the 19-year-old Alfonso for taking Lucrezia's attentions away from him, and in 1500, he stabbed Alfonso. Very lovely. Despite receiving several serious wounds, Alfonso didn't die. He miraculously recovered over the following weeks. Once he had done the impossible and risen from bed, Cesare instructed Micheletto to strangle him. Lucrezia was thrown out of the room, and while she ran to the Pope to ask for help, Alfonso was murdered. Note, this was not the first time Cesare had killed a man connected to Lucrezia. He had drowned Pedro Calderon, the papal chamberlain, in 1498 for getting close to her. Damn, son. Lucrezia's third husband, Alfonso d'Este, was reluctant to marry her, understandably, but the Pope's strategy for Central Italy required that he cement relations with Ferrara, so he paid Alfonso's father, Ercole d'Este, the Duke of Ferrara, 300,000 ducats along with other privileges to secure the match. Damn. The two were married, but they weren't exclusive. Lucrezia slept with the poet Bembo, <laughs> Bimbo, and Francesco Il Gonzaga. Their relationship ended when Francesco developed syphilis. Lucrezia died from complications giving birth to her eighth child in 1519. What about those other seven children, you may ask? Find out next week on Romance Gone Wrong. Nice. Yeah, romance is indeed a generous term for it. The first time I played this game, and, uh, you get up to that window to watch them, and she's like, Cesare, and he's like, oh, Lucrezia. I'm like, oh, brother and sister, that's nice. Wait, oh, oh, oh my god, stop! And then from then on, it was like, oh, all right. And that was years before I got into Game of Thrones, so incest was not something that I was accustomed to in any way. So I saw it, and I was like, oh, cute. You know, a cute little brother-sister kid. That's not how you're supposed to go. Okay, okay, stop, stop! <laughs> that's exactly how it went.